This goes out to all you disc golf lovers out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like the dad discs. How, How about you? I use shaving cream, acetone, and toothpaste too. Yeah, yeah. For a printable PDF download of all the materials and tools that you'll need for this project, as well as a step-by-step -step guide, please go to discgolffamily.com slash disc dash dying dash 101. Step 1. Thoroughly clean and dry your disc golf disc. Use the microfiber towel to rub off the oils from your hands that may have gotten onto the disc. Step 2. Use the acetone and cotton balls to rub the stamp off the disc. Don't pour the acetone directly on the disc as it could eat through the plastic. After you've removed the stamp completely, wash the disc under cold water to remove the remaining acetone. Step 3. Prepare the shaving cream base. To begin, take the large mixing bowl and fill it with shaving cream. You probably won't use the whole bottle. Next, mix some water into the shaving cream. You want the consistency of the shaving cream and water mixture to be about that of a milkshake. Mix the shaving cream until it's smooth. You want the mixture to slide off the spoon slowly. Step 4. Fill the plate or pie pan with the shaving cream mixture. Mound the shaving cream mixture high in the pie pan. Take the ruler and scrape off the excess shaving cream from the pie pan until the mixture is level. Step 5. Mix the dyes. Open the eye dye poly packages and remove the color intensifier. Set it to the side. You won't need it. Take the powdered dye package and cut off the corner with your scissors. Next, fill the two plastic cups with shaving cream. Pour a little of the powdered dye into one of the cups filled with shaving cream. Add more powdered dye to the shaving cream mixture as required to achieve the color that you desire. But remember that the color of the powdered dye and shaving cream mixture will be lighter than the final color on your disc. Thoroughly mix the powdered dye and shaving cream mixture until the color is uniform. Place the remaining powdered dye into Ziploc bags to store until later use. Step 6. Create your very own unique design. Take the eyedropper and place it into the color that you want to start with first. Draw the color into the eyedropper. Note, it can be difficult to get the shaving cream and powdered dye mixture to draw into the eyedropper, but be patient, it will come. Start your design from the center of the pie pan, and from there work your way out. It is important to remember that the lines that you're creating with the dye will flatten out and get wider when you place the disc on them. Therefore, you might not want to place the lines too closely together. When you're finished with the first colored dye, thoroughly rinse out the eyedropper in cold water before moving on to the next colored dye. Now continue with the next color. Step 7. Add more interest to the design. Using a toothpick, drag the colors from the center of the design outward into a pattern that you desire. Wipe the colored dye from the toothpick frequently. Step 8. Place the disc into the dye. Now that you've finished your design, place the disc top down into the dye, being very careful to center the disc on the center of your pattern. Do not push the disc down into the shaving cream. Rather, gently lay it there and remove your hands slowly. Allow the disc to sit for six to eight hours in a place where it can remain undisturbed. You may notice that the disc has sunken into the shaving cream some. That's not a problem. 
Remove the disc carefully from the shaving cream so that the dye does not drip into an unwanted place. Step 9, the final step. Rinse the shaving cream off your disc with cold water. Dry off your disc, and now you have a disc that is truly one of a kind. Remember to go to discgolffamily.com backslash disc dash dying dash 101 for a free printable PDF download of the material and tools list and a step-by-step -step guide. You can get to this web page by clicking the link below in the description section. If you really want to know some more info, go to Disc Golf Family and we'll tell you, yo. Oh man, let's get out of here. Work on the flip. Yeah, yeah, yeah.